Hello you, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel and you don't know who I am, allow me to introduce myself real quick. My name is Matthew Van der Bittem, I'm a time lapse photographer living in Sydney and London. This channel is all about time lapse travel and tutorials. And in this video, in this tutorial, I am showing you how to do this. Combining both time lapse and slow motion in one shot creates this near impossible dimension. Time is fluid and all of this is pretty wanky. It's very straightforward. We're going to be using Adobe After Effects to combine two shots. One shot, we're going to remove the background and just keep the silhouette, and we're going to overlay that on top of the time lapse. I'll be showing you one specific way of doing this. There's multiple ways of doing this. There's multiple types of software that you can use to do this, but I'm going to show you one example that really stood out for a lot of people that watched my recent video that I made from my trip to the Australia's Golden Outback, which is a region where I was shooting some tourism videos. In the edit, I showed the shot, and a lot of the YouTube comments were like, how did you do that? <laughs> uh, and it's a shot that I've been meaning to make for a while and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So let's get started with this tutorial, shall we? So here's the first shot. This is an image or a video taken by my mate Nick Cooper, also known as Coop's Fruit Loops on Instagram. He's from Perth, he was part of the trip. I was standing on a ledge shooting a sunset time-lapse sequence with my camera just out of frame to the right. As you can see, the sky was really quite epic, so I asked Nick to shoot a locked off silhouette of me walking over this ledge. I asked him to stay as still as possible and frame up the majority of the sky as opposed to putting me more in the middle of the frame. On top of that, I really needed this to be a silhouette, so it had to be sharp and my body or my outline had to be dark and exposed for the sky. Now here's the second shot. It's a very long holy grail time lapse with about 2000 raw frames. I adjusted the exposure throughout the sequence and then in post-production I edited out those exposure bumps using LR time lapse which is specific time lapse software. I've got a rundown and a tutorial on how to do this specifically these types of holy grail shots. You can watch that right here. So as mentioned the general idea is to overlay the silhouette on top of the time lapse and only retain the silhouette darker bits of the shot. Here are a few tips for better silhouette shots when you're planning a shot like this. The higher the resolution, the better. This gives the computer more data to work with and can give you a better outline or a finer outline of the image that you're trying to compose on top of the other one. Put your camera on a tripod so you don't have to stabilize anything in post. Try and match the angle and the field of view of the other shots. And then you just gotta make sure that your shot's in focus. Now that we have the footage that we need, let's head into post-production. We're going to start with both of these shots in Adobe After Effects. Create a new composition with your desired resolution, then drag both shots into the comp, making sure the silhouette is on top of the time-lapse. Adjust your scale and playback speeds and find a nice overlay. The goal of the video shot is to remove all pixels that aren't a dark silhouette. We're only going to keep the pixels that are the darkest. We'll call this a matte or you could call it a mask as well. Now there's many ways you can do this, including manually erasing part of the image or working with a pen tool to mask out part of the shot, that's called rotoscoping. I find it easier to let the computer's processor and advanced software do the majority of the work for me though. Add the luma key effect and play around with the settings. You will notice part of your shot disappearing. I can't share fixed settings as it totally depends on the stuff that you've shot yourself. However, if you are part of my Patreon family, this is a little self plug, you can download both these shots and play around with it yourself. So if you don't have the footage but you want to try this out, you can get access to both shots on my Patreon page. Next up, we are simply overlaying this on top of the time-lapse clip, making sure that the position and playback speeds work well. You can add an adjustment layer and some individual color grading or add some general grain or fuzziness over the footage to make it look more like one shot. Then render it out into a video file, post it on Instagram and hope you get lots of likes. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Check out the written version of it on my blog as well. Every tutorial I make has a accompanying blog post, not only for SEO purposes, but also because a lot of people actually prefer reading over watching video uh, tutorials. So that's for you guys. Flash from the future. I actually recorded this tutorial a while back, but I wanted to add a big thank you to all the top Patreon supporters over the years. We're nearing almost two years on Patreon, and I think I want to make a, uh, a review video about Patreon, or maybe I'll do a blog post or something, but I want to give a big thank you to all the top Patreon supporters. I'm going to read the list because I don't want to forget anyone. Chris, Vinny, Mike, Jan, Richard, Richie, Vincent, Michael, Daniel, Donnie, Caroline, Jason, and Rasmus, and then a bunch of other people. Thank you all so much for helping me create content for free like this. These tutorials, I can only make them if I somehow make money. It's not, I'm not making money from the AdSense or any of the ads on my blog, so it's thanks to you guys that I get to do this, and I really sincerely appreciate that so much. So a big, big thank you to you all. P.S. If you want to see what else we got up to in Australia's Golden Outback, which is an extremely remote part of Australia with amazing night skies, check out this cinematic video that I made. 
I've gotten so many nice comments and I'm really stoked about it. So if you go check it out, that'd be much appreciated. Or check out the vlogs that I made on that trip as well. They're pretty fun. Anyways, I'll see you guys very soon.